Hey guys, thank you for joining for this video today. So today I'm going to take you along with me as I go to Playlist Closet and Style Encore. Um, if you're not familiar with Playlist Closet and Style Encore, they are both um, like thrift stores, kind of, they're chains, and you can go and you can sell your clothing to them and then they, they resell it for a profit. And um, Style Encore is very similar to Playlist Closet. I know Playlist Closet is a little more um, popular, uh, especially hauls and stuff here on YouTube. but uh, style Encore is very much for um, more mature women. Um, they have bags, jewelry, clothing, obviously. And so I'm going to go in there. They have 70% off all of their clearance right now. Um, so I did go there a while back, but they are always adding um, more to their clearance section. So I'm sure I'll find some stuff there. And then I'm also going to go to, go to Place Closet. I'm actually going to go there first because they have 90% off their clearance. And I know a lot of people have been putting up YouTube videos of what they're getting at their 90% off clearance sales. And um, mine starts today. So I'm expecting there's still going to be some good stuff. Um, even though, you know, they go like 50, 70% and then finally they get to 90%, which I think they do that. And then they might do... A fill a bag sale. Um, it's just, just dependent on the season. I know they do it once or twice a year. They do like the fill a bag for like twenty dollars or something. I don't know, something like that. Anyway, so um, I dropped just went to the bank, dropped off my packages uh, for eBay and Poshmark, and then now I'm gonna go there. Um, it's gonna take me about thirty-five to forty minutes to get there. The weather is not real great today. It's not terrible, but it's kind of like light snow right now and it's about 35 degrees so I don't expect that it's gonna freeze but I'm gonna get on the interstate and see um, how the road is there if it's if it's bad and makes me nervous then I'll just probably turn around but um, I don't mind driving in snow and such um, it's just when I think that it's gonna get icy so um, I should be home before the temperature drops anyway I'm not planning on being gone for more than three or four hours and then I'm gonna come home and do um, listings and um, maybe a YouTube video for an actual haul so I'm gonna do this video I'll probably show you a few things that I get in this video and then I'll do a separate haul to show you everything that I got just because the video will be way too long otherwise but I'm gonna try to um, record in both places but we'll see how that goes um, it's usually difficult for me to record in anywhere if there's a lot of people um, Plus, I'm still kind of shy at recording and talking to the camera in front of people. Yeah, even my husband's like, I should watch your videos. I'm like, no, don't watch my videos. <laughs> so I'm like embarrassed. But um, yeah, so come along with me as I go and shop at Playlist Closet and Style Encore. And hopefully you'll find some, I'll find some good stuff that will be interesting for you to see as well. to style encore and I actually decided to come here first because um, I want to go to this coffee place uh, just Panera Panera bread uh, on my way home and it's right like pretty close to Playlist closet so I don't want to go and go there and then come back here and then drive back over there so I'm gonna come here to style encore for it first I do have a bag of stuff that I'm gonna try to sell to them so we'll see if I get anything out of it it's kind of funny because some of it I definitely purchased from here <laughs> in the past so we'll see um, what they take um, I'll show you the bag I have two bags I actually have a bag for um, I have a bag for Stella Encore and Playlist Closet so I'll show you the two bags that I have and then let you know um, what they end up taking and what they don't take so Okay, so these are my two bags. This one's for Play-Doh's Closet, and this one's for Style Encore, so I'm going to take that one in. This has more, like, mature um, women brands, like, for career, and there's, like, Cabby in there and Chico's and stuff. And then this has more, like, anthro-type brands. There's a pair of a lot of leggings, which either place would probably take that. J. Crew, you know, more um, stuff for the age group that shops at Play-Doh's Closet.
in terms of finding quite a few things to resell. Um, I did find quite a few items. I found some that are pretty decent brands. Um, I'll show you those here. So I got this is an equipment blouse and it's like got these, I think they're dogs. Might be greyhounds, I'm not sure. Um, and I did pay up for some of the stuff. I spent, let's see, I spent $231.26 with taxes and everything. And then that's also with taking off the items that they took. They only took two items out of that whole bag and they gave me two dollars or seven dollars and eighty cents so they really didn't take very much um i should do a whole video on just what they accept and what they don't accept because i did take in quite a few decent brands and um i didn't think that they were old styles i think it really is dependent on who's buying I think she's pretty picky and also I don't think she spent a lot of time going through the stuff because I took it in and said you know have them text me when they were done and I was shopping anyway so it didn't matter when I came to pick it up really so I was staying in store and she texted me and I only put like a couple things in my cart and when I'm looking like for clearance stuff I usually put a lot in my cart and then go through it at the end and so I would say less than 10 minutes and she had done everything and I find it hard to believe that she really looked closely through everything. I think she just kind of took out the stuff she thought looked good and then didn't go through everything. That's happened to me before when I've gone places. It looks like they didn't even go through it. Um, but that's okay. I'm still happy. I was going to donate all that stuff to um, either Goodwill or my church garage sale so I have no problem with basically I made three four dollars on each item three something almost four dollars in each item so I'm really not I'm not unhappy about it I just wish it has so much crap to take home so anyway so I showed you the equipment I found um, a st. John suit I didn't realize that the skirt is actually coming undone right there but um, okay so this piece doesn't actually have the st. John tag I'll show you it um, it's a suit out outfit so here's St. John, it's got a big cardigan sweater, an undershirt, and then a skirt. And I paid up for this. I think all together, I paid about $30, $40 for it um, for all three pieces. I'm gonna sell it as a set. If I can sell it for 100, that'd be awesome. I don't know for sure if I will or not, but it's pretty cool. Like, it's like a navy blue with green um, checkered kind of pattern. And then this is a new brand to me, Frank and Eileen. Never heard of it, but it looks like they're made like in Italy or something. I paid up for that piece a little bit, but I'm just gonna, I'll divide how much I paid. I'll just divide that. Um, I'll just divide that all together. So I'm not too terribly worried about that. That's interesting. Um, I looked up because I found like three or four pieces of that Frank and Eileen and I looked it up and it looks like it sells for a pretty good money like 40 to 50 I don't know about that top um, that top maybe not as much but I got quite a bit of stuff I got a huge bag um, I am happy I found like a st. Bart Bart's Calypso I found a Jay McLaughlin or something like that and I was recently watching a Becky Park um, video and she showed that she sold Jay McLaughlin and I never picked it up before I thought it was like nothing and so yeah, shout out to her because I wouldn't have known that it's a good brand if I hadn't seen her video. So now I'm going to go to Plato's Closet and then I'm going to go to Panera, get myself a coffee, and then I'm going to go home, I think. So usually when I come to town here, um, I only go to a couple places and then I go home. I want to be home this evening to do some stuff and then go to the gym. So yeah, I did do a little bit of uh, recording. Not a lot, but I did do a little bit. There are quite a few people in there and I just... I don't want people to see me recording. I, I bet they wouldn't care because these ladies do like little videos and stuff on YouTube. I think for the store and on Facebook, but I just I'm just shy. So anyway, hopefully I'm able to sell a little bit of stuff at Playhouse Closet because I do have a whole bag here, um, and we'll see. Okay, come along. 
Okay guys, so I just finished up at Playhouse Closet and once again, they, well this place didn't buy any of my stuff, none of it, um, which I'm not super surprised. This was all stuff that I couldn't sell on my own eBay store, so yeah, I'm not sure. I'll probably just end up, um, I'll probably just donate everything to my church garage sale um, in the summer, so I'm just going to store it in my basement again. Um, um, they had 90% off all of their clearance. I did not get an opportunity to record in there. There was a lot of people at the clearance section and I really didn't want to be trying to record with people there. And some people don't want to be on camera and everything. Anyway, um, yeah, so they didn't buy any of my stuff. I did find um, quite a bit of clearance stuff for reselling. And for myself, um, I spent about $27, so I definitely came out on top. I think that most of the stuff was probably less than $2, some of it less than that. Um, so I got quite a bit of stuff. I, I, I mean, the bag is huge. You can see here, this is the bag. It takes up almost the entire seat. Um, so yeah, I don't know for sure what, what, what they actually take. <laughs> I mean, I don't feel like the styles I had were super old, although I did put a J. Crew skirt in there that I know was old, but I thought, hey, it's summertime, they might take it. Um, there was a dress in there, but it was a sweater dress that was sleeveless. So I guess, oh, I'm getting tired, guys. I'm getting tired. I guess, um, yeah, they're not taking anything like that. The clearance had quite a bit of good stuff. I did find a pair of Lululemon leggings. They are a little bit in rough shape, but I know I can sell them. They're like a chevron in uh, black and green design, and um, they didn't have the tag in them anymore, but I've sold those leggings before in a different color, so I knew that they were Lululemon as soon as I saw them. I found some other leggings, um, a couple free people tops, I didn't find like a lot of what I would consider like high-end brands or anything like that, but I found a few good things here. I'll show you kind of what I found. I found this. I've never heard of this brand, but I thought I'd take a chance and I looked up comps and they're selling for like $30, $20, $30. They're called um, Beulah leggings and they're like, they say Beulah all over them and they're like a heather green and black striped full-length leggings. Let's see what I can easily get to here. Um, I got this dress. It is like a peplum style. It's kind of probably not super popular. But it's pins and needles, which is anthropology. It was only $1.80. Short little thing, but it's cute, like embroidery. I got these. These are full length, like joggers, baby joggers. Um, they're full length and then they have like the cuffed hem. And the other side's kind of hard to get to, but I will be doing a haul that I will put up after this video airs. Um, yeah, so maybe, I guess I'm not really sure what these places buy. Um, like I said, my styles maybe were a little bit less. They would say things like wear and that kind of stuff and I'm like like one thing had wear because most of my stuff doesn't have any wear because I sell it online and it's in excellent condition so I don't really I think they just say that on purpose like they just say that as a filler you know because they don't know what to say to people <laughs> um yeah so I guess we'll see what happens I'm in the future I might try it again and do a video um maybe bring some like more popular brands in their stores because I kind of know like what the what they like to sell so like um, maybe I'll start putting together like 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 small bags for when I come of things that I can sell to them that I think that are brands I like <sighs> I'm tired so it's about 4 30 I'm gonna run and get myself a coffee frappuccino of some sort probably a paneer bread and then I will probably go home probably do a haul for you tonight or tomorrow and then that will be up after this video airs so yeah thanks for joining me for um, thrifting today and listening to me go on and on I'll probably uh, record a little bit more here at the end um, to kind of wrap up the video